Michelle, we must warn what you are about to see and hear is quite graphic, but it's true. Happened at the Club Spacefish behind me last night. A band called Gigi Allen and the Murder Junkies performing at a club that prides itself in its words on having shows on the cutting edge. People paid $7 to watch a man defecate into his own hand while he was nude. And that is just the beginning. This is the Space Fish Cafe. Tuesday, they say, is a dead night. Monday, apparently, was not. Mike Brown owns the place. I would say that you never really know what's going to happen when Gigi Allen performs. This is Gigi Kevin Allen, arrested when police raided the club. What did he do? He relieved himself and did it all. I mean, you name it, it was probably happening. A police report is quite explicit says the singer took his own feces, began throwing it at people, and eating it. He was actually off the stage. He was right down here off the stage. Just stepped off and decided to do it. <laughs> Most everybody here probably thought it was funny. and was, I don't think, I really don't think people were shocked. People outside were. We heard a commotion and we came outside and the guy ran out the door naked and he was throwing chairs and he had used the bathroom on himself and was throwing it on the people as they came out to the club. Butler says strange activity is nothing new here. I think it's a bunch of well-to-do white kids who come down here and when they let their hair down, they let it down too much. And it caught up with them last night. Allen wasn't the only one naked. Donald Sachs arrested as well. He was naked and he, he was uh, smashing the mic into his head and rolling in glass and everything. Like I said, it's not very typical, but these were things that we expected. We Not out of the ordinary, says Brown, happens in clubs all over the country. This is the first bit of big city to come to Orlando. And Gigi and the murder junkies, as they're called, are welcome to come back. The club owner says next time it will be under his terms if it happens. He says Orlando simply isn't ready for this sort of activity. The owner of the club says that he spoke with his lawyer this afternoon and said, go ahead and talk to reporters. They're celebrating our report now, saying the publicity will do you good. Michelle.